Anyway, the program is called, uh, this feature is called Overcoming the Odds. You know we do this every Tuesday this time. We touch base with a baller or with a national player. This week is a baller who have some stories where them tell you all the difficulty that they had to go through to become who they are. Today, uh, it's brought to you, by the way, by Edgecam, Superiority Without Compromise. Today, we touch base with former national player Fabian Taylor, um, who joins us on the program now. Fabian, what are you going on, boss? Yeah, what are you going on, boss? Boy, I'm there. Jamaica. I'm there. Jamaica. Fabian would have played about 40 times with the national team, Fabian. Yeah, something like so. Something like so. And you would have also played in the MLS and also in Norway for, for about three and a half years. So, right. well, well seasoned in, in, in big time, boss. Yeah. Um, the difficulties that you had to go through, Fabian, to take your, your thing from grassroots stage to the, to the top stage. Um, t- tell us the first one that you, you, you want to tell us about. Um, the first one I want to touch at, you know, you know say, um, I'm growing up in an inner city community, not always easy, you know, to, to, to make the transition to, to a national team and, you know, um, to even further your football career um, abroad. So right. was, that was difficult in a sense that, you know, there wasn't much um, resources. There wasn't enough um, um, things to, to, to take motivation from. Sp- but, speak um, up, speak up for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the first one should I say um, uh, was transportation problems. Um, leaving from um, Newland, Pope, that in Portmore, um, to to visit Harborview in the mornings. Because we had um, some mornings we have eight o'clock training, and some mornings we have ten. Mm. And um, I had to walk from Newlands to um, Nagohead. In, in, in that time, you know, both communities, communities never um, really see eye to eye. Oh, really. So it was, that was difficult, you know, in, in the sense that I had to walk from Newlands to Nagohead to get a transportation to town, then to Arborview. So that was really challenging for me, and I had to do that for a couple of years. Oh, you, uh, uh, Pope, you did live all along, Fabian, yeah, while Pope you were playing for all of you in the Premier League. Yeah, man. And I just said, it, it, how long is that walk from Newlands to come to Nagazet? Uh, it was it, like boy, a, a 10, 15 minutes walk, but you know, they, you remember now, um, shot was being fired between two communities, oh. both communities, and you know, uh, communities didn't see eye to eye, as I said before. So, yeah. you know, that, the, 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 the fear factor was, was always there as a, as a youngster. Oh, Lord. Boy, we hear them stories before. I saw the ball of them go through some more things, man. In, in, in the early man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No things you have to face. So you couldn't know, have played for it. you couldn't have played for a team closer to Portmore. Them. Th- oh, there was no Portmore at the time. Portmore was not in the Premier League. That is. No, not no, not at the time. Right. Yeah. 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 You're talking. What What year are we talking about now? This is about um, uh, late nineties. Yeah, in the nineties, really. Yeah, late nineties. So yeah, you had to I walk did, from, yeah, from Newlands to Portmore with, you know, warring factions. Yeah, I forgot you that in the early morning. From Newlands to Nagahead, yeah, man. To, to Nagahead. Then you have to take yeah. a bus to downtown, yes, eh? Yeah, we, you know, so downtown, our, our violent area, so you know, so things are always up downtown. Yeah. Right. So, you know. And then from there to have a view. All, in, all yeah. in time to get sometime 8 o'clock training in the morning. Right. Boy, well, I tell you. Right. Um, so what, you know, what gave you the determination morning after morning to, to overcome that, that, that kind of... Art? Well, it was a dream of mine, you know, growing mm. up, you know, that, you know, um, I wanted to play um, for my country and I wanted to play professionally. Right. So um, um, that, 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 that drove me, you know, that, listen, I have to go out there and I have to do this. I can't sit back and wait and, you know, the perfect moment, I wait on a, a car or somebody to pick me up. You know, I always have to just do it on my own and, and you know, make my way all the time. And do your thing. All right, tell us yeah, about man. the second one because that one may understand, boy, and not a lot of people have given up. But tell us about the second real. Right, I'm gonna challenge. give. Uh, well, uh, in 2004, I went to the MLS. Mm-hmm. Um, I went on a, um, a loan deal from Harborview mm-hmm. um, to the MLS in 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 in, um, in America. Played for the New York New Jersey Metro Stars. Um, got called up at one time for the national team. Uh, my trainer told me at, at the time that was Bob Bradley who coached um, the U.S. national team for some years. Mm. Um, he was coaching the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars at the time. And he told me that I got, I got called up for the national team. And he told me, I listen, say that uh, I can't afford for you to get injured, you know. Mm. So I said, okay, coach, um, I, will, I will try my best. Um, and the visit back home to, to play an international friendly uh, for Jamaica in, in, in the national stadium, um, I got injured in a training session before, before the game. Oh, Lord. Um, with all of that said, went back to the club injured, 
it was just a difficult time. The coach didn't even look at me for one one moment. Yeah. You know, because he said to me, Fabian, boy, I don't want you to get injured, you know, because you're important to the team and stuff like that. And the, 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 the worst thing about it was it was a two game, um, um, it was a two game, Jamaica National had two games at the time. Mm. The first one I didn't play, uh, I, I didn't get um, selected um, in the, in the, for the first game. And the second one, which I was in line to play, um, I got injured the day before the game. You know, so it was even worse. Didn't didn't even get a chance to 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 to, to play any other international at the time, you know. And then going back to my club injured, you know. And it, yeah, so when you went back, the coach didn't even look at you. He didn't even look at me. I had. You mean I, like for how long? How, how long are you talking about now? Well, for all the rest of the season, it was like like um, four months to go in the season, really. For and the it, four it, months, the it, coach it, don't talk to you. The coach didn't talk to me upon I leaving at the time because uh, it was a loan deal. They didn't um, they didn't went through because I got injured again after after mm. that. You know, which, which is a, a, another story. No, no. Um, the coach didn't talk to me none at all. He didn't say um, how are you doing, Fabian? But how was the injury? None of that. So how did how did you deal with that, big man? You, and, so, and so clearly there, you couldn't there, play. There was, there, was, there was there was even another thing with my agent. Mm. Um, he didn't. He didn't spoke to me as well. He didn't. I tried to contact him numerous occasions at that time, and there was just no answer. No, nobody said anything. So you're nobody. in the states training with that. Well, you couldn't be training because you were injured. I was injured for a little time. It wasn't. It wasn't. A, it was even a big injury. Oh, but some of the times it you was, could actually train. Right. I started to train after about two, two to two, two, three weeks. After. So, so did you get any game at all? I got one game in the last playoff game we played against these. So, players. like in training now, the coach not said nothing to you in a training. How do you know Arville. what to do in training? Arvil, mm. Arvil, the man don't say nothing to me. <laughs> Hold on, Richie, I hear what I'm saying, man, for the radio, good, good man. <laughs> the man, the man said nothing to me. God, no, that one, you are the wickedest overcoming the as ever here. The coach malice a man because you come play for Jamaica and get injured, big man. I get injured, right? Big old Bad Bradley, where coach USA say nothing to you. Yeah, yeah. I never Brad Bradley, the Bob Bradley I hear that interview with. I want a wicked one. <laughs> I want never my ear for two. <laughs> Boy, I feel bad. I do wicked this one that me. So at some point, yeah, you don't know, feel like telling the man I want and two Jamaican word. Or yeah, you have to protect time, your country. Time, you know, I was just all about, you know, I'm, I was just relishing the moment and, you know, being a professional and playing abroad. And, you know, I, you're not, so not, you're just a it, turn up a really, training. It really got to me. It got to me. You know, I said, Boy, you know. This is was this was just the first obstacle and I and I have to cross it and you know. Okay. I think I did myself justice and I did well in the MLS at the time with the, the amount of games and, and, and game time that I got. Okay. All right. You know, I was you know But the public the public is saying, Boy, you are a real disciplinarian because no far we would have do like what Alvas will do and just cut long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But well, like, no. You went to Norway and I remember one time I saw you, you came back or I heard about you having a, a, a broken leg that really set back your career. Tell, tell us about that one. All right. Um, I went to Norway again in 2008. Mm. Um, on, a, on another loan stint uh, with an option to buy. Um, broke my leg at the ending part, ending, ending of the season, really. Mm. When um, um, there was like about 30 seconds left to go in the training session. I did very well the first season in Europe. Um, I scored 14 goals. Um, so a lot of teams was you know, um, asking about me. I wanted to know who is this guy from Jamaica and stuff like that. And um, I remember when 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 the incident happened and uh, with my leg, the coach, the coach at that time for for my team, um, he just he just walked away. He just blew the whistle and walked away. He didn't even come over and said said nothing. And he said afterwards he called me and said, Fabian boy, I knew I knew was your foot was was broken. And, and you know he couldn't stay around to just to see the the pain and you know and the stuff that I was going through. But you know it, it was really difficult because I was I was supposed to move to one of the top teams in Norway at that time, and um, the, actually the, the directors of the, the 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 top clubs was was upstairs really waiting for me to sign documents and stuff like that. You know to move on. Hold on, really the same day that your your foot broke. The, you were to move the, the, the directors of a club that you were to move to were at the training session 
you are saying that the day your foot broke in Norway, playing for right. a training session with your club, right. the directors of another bigger club were there to sign you that same day? That same day. You know, my club was a, the club was a really small club in Norway that I, that I, that, 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 that I played for. And, and they, were, they were really looking forward to this big move. It would have been a history move for the club, you know? Mm. So, you know, it was really heart And you know, I, I, trust me, I broke down so many times, you know, even on the field I, um, when I broke my leg. It wasn't, it wasn't just because of the pain that I cried. It was mm. just because, you know, I mean, this was my dream for playing, playing to play uh, with a, 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 a top club in Europe, you know? Mm. And, uh, you know, all of that, I just see just go up in flames, just... And the just people like were that. there. To, that means if, uh, if 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 you had just walked off the field without that injury, you right. would have signed for a top Norwegian club. Right. How how did you right. sleep that night, if if at all, my boss? Why, well, I may mean, I tell you, I have sleepless nights. Trust me. But at the time, um, O'Neill Bigger Thompson was there as well, so he he played a big part in in, in me getting over my injury. You know, looking past, looking for yeah, I'm getting. Getting um, back fit again and stuff like that. So it, was, it was there with me and you oh. know helped me really to, to 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 overcome this. Boy, I tell you, my boss. <laughs> We're doing overcoming the odds with former national footballer um, Fabian Taylor, who is telling us some really interesting stories. Um, so Fabian, after that injury, boy, you 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 you, you couldn't get to satisfy your dream to play at the, the top level in Norway, and you probably never got back to the same level after that. No, I didn't really get back to the same level. And then the, the, the team switched coaches and then, you know, it was all downhill from there. Yeah. All right. So that, that is that is too. You tell us about coming to Jamaica from MLS, Bob Bradley coaching your MLS team. And when you come back, the man will talk to you for the rest of the season <laughs> because you yeah. come get injured for Jamaica. <laughs> and then getting your leg broken in Norway on the same day you were to sign with another, mm-hmm. with another club. But right, I tell right. You. Give me one more. I, I usually want three three challenges that people had to overcome. Give me another one. All right. Another one was um, um, uh, pertaining to the national team as a youngster, you know, and um, a couple of years, in about 2003, 2004, you know, I, I was one of the most lethal strikers in Jamaica at the time, you know, scoring a lot of goals in the Premier League um, from season to season, and, you know, not being selected at times for the, for, for the national team, but a big downfall for me. Um, um, I got invited to camp, training camps all the time. I was always invited, but, you know, most of the times I wasn't being selected um, to the final 18 or the final 22 who was going to travel or, or, or whatever. So, you know, that was, at that time, I was um, competing against some of the best strikers Jamaica has ever seen in um, Onandil, Walter Boyd, just to name a few, Dean Burton, Ricardo Fuller, Paula. You know, yeah, and that, as a it, local player at that time to compete it, yeah. with, with, with people at that stature, you know, it was it was very difficult, you know, and for me as a youngster, I was a general, I don't know when I'm going to get my chance, when I'm going to get my chance, you know, and I saw other players, other strikers and other players come um, who was, who had the same talent that, uh, uh, that I had and, 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 you know, just call it quick star, you know. Mm. Get a visa and just go far and don't come back because you know there there was too much competition at the time, you know. Yeah. So that was very difficult how, for how, me. How did you but, deal? You know, with, how did you deal with that? Well, well, how did you deal with that? Knowing that, boy, as you say, you're coming in here with Boyd and Paul Al and these people and Nandi and these people, while you were, as you said, one of the top strikers in the league, but just couldn't get into that squad most of the time. How and you, you at some point, and you at some point, you know, and you at some point, these these guys um a little bit older than I am, and and you know would 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 be out soon. So I I, I just kept at it and you know keep working hard, keep um scoring goals as 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 a striker. The only thing you can do is score goals and 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 expect for the best, you know, from from the national coaches and 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 from others. So you know that that's what I, I keep at it. I kept at it. I kept at it. Uh, keep scoring goals year after year, season after season. You know. Um, I, I just, I just tell myself, listen, um, these are these guys are in front of me, and I, and I have to get myself up to their standard, you know. So I work hard every day in training, and even by myself all the time, I always trying to improve my game, and you know that's Even- what brought me through. Eventually, you got a a a a, 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 a fairly decent run with the team. I'm going to ask yeah, you the last one. I understand you did play some football in Russia as well. 
No, I didn't play in Russia. I, I, got, um, I went on trials um, in Zenit. Yeah. Zenit, St. Petersburg. Um, you didn't, you it didn't, didn't went well. Okay. It, it didn't well, well, well there, um, Arville. Um, um, the coach, uh, I want to tell you, say, Arville, this is one of the worst things happened. I was on the plane, really, when the, the, the people requested for me to come to Zenit. Um, actually, the coach in half of the, the, the Zenit, St. Petersburg team um, got fired. On, when I was on my way to 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 to, to <laughs> Russia, so when I when I got there, you now um, everything was just new. The backroom staff was new. The coaching staff was new. So, I, I, so the people who, a, a the people the people who who had seen you and wanted you to come, yeah. While you got were fired, while you were on yeah. the plane to go over there, all of those people yeah. got fired. Got fired. <laughs> Boy, you're sad. <laughs> so, so when so you turn up, are some yes, new people here? See? Yeah, listen, Avil. Yeah. Avil, listen. When me reach, when me reach Russia now, me I say, you know, I want to go because you know, nobody don't talk to me. I don't say anything. I, I just, just the, the the guy who took me from my hotel room to the training session just showed me where to go and where to get changed and and whatever. Mm. Nobody talked to me. <laughs> it was like everybody was just looking at me and like, who is like, this like guy? I was just a, like <laughs> I was just a black pepper grade in a in, in a pound of salt. <laughs> You know, you know, no, God knows. So I said, you know what is, when, when, uh, after, after the first training session, uh-huh. um, I called Clyde, um, Jordan and, and he, he informed me about what happened and, you know, it was just, it was just a mess. The, the people who, the, the new training, the, the, the new coaching staff and, uh, and stuff didn't even want to take a look at me anymore. Yes, a because they didn't know you. They didn't know about you. As far as they were right. concerned, you were a stranger. Yeah, I was a nobody. Just, maybe as far as them know, you could be a youth with us running from across the road from the park and uh, look at you. Exactly, because nobody's there representing me, really. Yeah. I was just here by myself. Oh, God. So how long they did it take me, you so to leave was, that? I, I, I actually trained, I trained, for, I trained two, two days there. Mm. Um, at the time, me and um, Robert Scarlett um, had, had made the trip to, to, to Russia. But he was with um, um, Sparta Moscow. Yes. In Moscow at the time. So I, 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 I spoke to the, the, the person who was um, carrying me around and stuff. And he said, All right, listen, we, we're going to take a, a trip to Moscow and see if you can train with Sparta Moscow at the time. Mm. Um, which that happened. Um, trained only once with Sparta Moscow. And, and I had to live a national in England because we had two um, international games with. Um, with against India at the time in England. Oh, but, you know it was just a mess going yeah. to going to Russia and you know ah, didn't that, really that, get yeah. a chance to show showcase my skills really. Fabian, we we have had yeah, a lot man. of these overcoming the odds. I don't think too many would have beaten your story. Boy, you're salt in so many different and, ways. Yeah, man. There's, there, I would say I don't talk about myself salt because I because I've achieved a lot out of the sport and well, yeah, you know, yeah. I have to give thanks. You know, yes, and giving back now is my thing, Arvin. You know, what are you doing, by the way? I'm with the Arbor View Football Club. Um, oh, you're part of the background, um, helping, out, helping out as an um, assistant coach here. Okay, and are you, I'm with and, and I'm not sure. You're, you're comfortable, my boss. You, you, you can live off of what you, you earn, but not really fast than your business. Still. <laughs> yeah, man, we have to live, man. We yeah. know for living, you know, you know, for living. Know, in the inner city and, and, and stuff, so we know for living, we know for survive. So. All right. um, as I said, we just uh, give, uh, give back now to the sport and, uh, and uh, try to um, pass on the knowledge that we learned over okay. the years to the F- kids and, uh, and to F- the wider, um, my Your advice to, to people who are going through their own challenges now? I um, mean, 30 my advice would well, My advice would be um, stuck at it, um, um, pray, work hard, and um, nothing beat working hard. Trust me, nothing beat working hard and, 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 and knowing what you want and, and be dedicated you know, so uh, that would be my advice to all the youngsters and 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 and, and, and teenagers who's growing up and uh, wanted to want to be um a professional. Big up yourself, now, Fabian. One of these days we'll buck up my boss. But big up yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big up, man. And big up Jamaica. Bless you. All right. Big up Jamaica.